Well, welcome back to Laocan Farms, guys. Got Connor here. I'm just down checking the uh, bred heifers right now at the moment. I think the closest one we got is probably Opal, the Charlet, and then the next closest one is laying back there. But you can tell they're definitely starting to utter. So they should be due, I think. So uh, what day is it right now? It's uh, Friday right now. They're technically due next Tuesday, so they could come really at any point now. But yeah, we're just checking them. I got everything set up and ready for them. So we got the calving pen right here. I just have the bale sitting in there waiting until we'll be ready. So what I did is I also, uh, so I cleaned them out. I let the floor dry and then I limed where uh, they're gonna be. And I also limed right underneath me here because I cleaned that out too. But that'll just help give a little bit more grip and make it a little more more sanitary for when they do calve. So this will be calving pen. And then this is the calf pen right here. I'm just waiting until we actually have some critters to bed it down. But we've got uh, 12, 12 heifers total. So I'm just excited to get some babies on the way. But yeah, these girls look all right this morning. But the plan for today is I'm gonna head over to the farm now and we're gonna move around, so I'll explain a little bit more when we get there, but we gotta move around some uh, water line from last year to get ready for this year. So we'll head uh, over to the farm and get working on that. All right, well, I made it over to the farm here. First though, I got the pallet right here in the back of the dually, and then yesterday I was pulling a bunch of fence posts. So we gotta get those, I gotta get those out of the back of the ranger. I'm gonna set them over by it. The other fence poles, fence posts, and then we'll uh, head out and pull some water line. Now, you can see we got a couple, a uh, couple fence posts here. Now we have most of these because you'll see as we do all the videos and stuff, as I do all the videos that we got the nice new high tensile fence. Well, that only went in this last fall, so the fall of 2020. So all the grazing season of 2020, I just had a temporary electric fence. So that's why I have like, I don't know, who knows how many fence posts are here. There's a lot of them. All right, so I made it out here. This is the uh, water pipe I'm talking about. So we use this during the grazing season and this is how we actually get water to the cattle. You pop this little lid off and we have a little part that plugs right in like that and then you have water. Really cheap and really effective way to water cattle and you can see, well you can't see the fences too well but there's four paddocks in this 40 or four lanes and then we make paddocks every day and move them down but so you can, this is like the old uh, lane that we had last year kind of went over to that corner there. But now that we have this permanent setup here, we won't need this lane. So the water line was along this lane last year. So what we need to do is, I need to do is pull it over and we're gonna put it along this single wire paddock division. We won't have enough to do the whole thing because we are, or I am getting a lot more this year through uh, Equip, it's a USDA program to help out young farmers and any farmer really for that matter. But so this is just the stuff we had left over from last year. And then I have the other stuff ordered, 27,000 feet of it. And it should be coming in hopefully in a week or two weeks, pretty soon, and then we'll unroll the, the rest of it. So I'll try my best to film moving this. The stuff when it gets all laid out like this, it can get a little hard to pull if you get a really long section, and this one's probably, I don't know, it could be a thousand feet I try pulling, so we'll try our best here. Alright, so I pulled it as far as I could holding on to it by hand. You can see it 
it just goes all the way over the hill and once I got it straight here it was just way too hard for me to hold it by hand so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go down double check make sure this section is at least unhooked from the long section and we'll have to kind of just walk it up to the fence really so that all right well got over so this is the one that this line here comes underneath the road and then we have it pumping out of the old milk house but so this is the line that heads up just where we were ends right where the ranger there is and then there's another section that goes uh, up farther than that but I'm gonna get it unburied this is kind of a waterway so it kind of got buried and then this is runoff so I'm gonna get this unburied and then we'll work on getting the whole line up closer to that fence line over there Not only was I kind of bringing it up closer to the line here, but I was kind of pulling it that way too. So I think I'm just gonna keep doing that because that seemed to work all right. It's better, it was easier to hold on to it when it was in front of the Ranger there than just having it come through the cab. See, you got the squad rolling by here. It's of course mud season now in Wisconsin, so the cattle are a little dirty, but we don't really have a yard to put them in, so this is the best we can do. I'm probably gonna end up replanting some of this paddock that they're in right now but I was kind of figuring that anyway so well I finally figured out a way to pull all this so what I did you got sacrificed a little bit but I kind of wrapped it around the corner there and was able actually to pull the the whole thing so now I'm just gonna let it down and then I'll drive along the other way and kind of push it closer to the line so it's right underneath the fence. You can see the cattle there. They almost act like, it reminds me of a cat chasing like a mouse or a toy or something, how the cattle are chasing after the water line. But yeah, so we'll get going getting it closer now. I was driving along and saw that uh, I got a down wire here on the fence, very bottom one there. So let's set the camera up, get that fixed. Well, uh, the rest of these are pretty loose, these four wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten up all four of them right here. Definitely this this third one here and the bottom one. So yeah, get those uh, fixed up here quick.
right, well, I got the uh, water line pretty much all straightened out there for that one section. That's all we could really do for now until we get more line in and get some ports in. It's pretty uh, pretty windy out here now, but I brought the uh, skid steer and ranger back. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash the ranger right away. Make sure the air box is clean. Grease it up, just getting it ready for the grazing season because we'll use it every single day, basically. So we should want to make sure it's all set and ready to go. Check the heifers just when I got back. No one's looking like they're going to calve tonight, I don't think, but I'll check them one last time. But there's two of them that are getting really close now. Big guys down there doing what we like to call their uh, daily marathons. Usually every, every evening uh, when it cools off, these guys just run around like crazy, but it's good for them. So thanks for watching, guys.